Hi everyone! In this video, we're going to see how to apply text or any uh, 2D uh, curves on a um, non planar surface. So, the idea here is not to simply uh, project in uh, from, from any orthogonal view something onto a surface, but it's really to take a surface, flatten it, put the logo or the text on it, and then re put it back to this so that um, the actual curves that we're going to put on this flattened uh, surface is going to, to take the curvature of our object. So here, for example, uh, there is this trimmer. The idea uh, would be to put a logo, uh, let's say here. Uh, so if I put text object and I type uh, Philips, so I think Philips font is something so like the Jill uh, 100 Ultra Bolt or uh, Ultra Bolt Condensed. So if you take the Philips and you make it um, as a text like this, um, here, if you try to um, project it, and uh, let's say here, for example, you will have a lot of uh, deformation due to the fact that it's projected on something which is not flat. So um, this is not too bad here because the curve is not, is not, is not the worst. But in some cases where you would have something which is much worse, uh, you want to be able to uh, apply it much more accurately. So there is a tool for this and it's called, it's called, it's right here. Uh, it's called uh, Create UV Curves. And what it does is that it takes the UV curves of a surface that you select. So for example, if I do it, here and I select that and that I press enter you see that it will have created this and this if you look at this surface this uh, surface is like this it has a little indent here and and um, it actually recreated those curves but flat on the side and here you can recognize this here and here you can recognize this so if then uh, we would apply our logo um, so let's put it here. So let's create that and let's scale it. If we would put our logo here and that we would reapply those curves here, this would take the curvature as if we would apply a sticker on onto our surface. So um, here there is, you see the little intent is here and it's here. So it's actually reversed. So let's reverse uh, the logo and maybe we can align it um, with a vertical like this and now uh, if we go into the same menu and instead of clicking on create UV curves we say apply UV curve so right click instead of left click we have to select the curves that we want and actually we have to select the boundary uh, we don't have to select those ones. Uh, we can just select the boundary and this. Press enter and then you have to select the surface uh, that we want to apply it, apply it on. And actually you are going to use the same surface that uh, or was used to create those uh, curves. So let's click here. And you see that now it reapplied uh, those curves uh, like this. And this is a way uh, to apply much more accurately um, curves flat curves onto, onto a surface. So you cannot do, uh, you cannot extrude that and, um, and apply it here uh, because it works only with curves. It doesn't work with solid. So if you want to make something uh, which is um, like a relief on it or like an engraving or something like this, you will have to, um, to use this curve to actually uh, split uh, this surface. So if we do split here, Let's use split object. So select object to split. So this is the object we want to split. And then the cutting object is going to be this. Then when you do this, uh, you'll see that it cut it all the letters like this. And you can simply offset those surface. So offset surface like this, solid, yeah, perfect, one millimeter, press enter, and then delete the top surface, 
and then uh, you have your um, relief which is on on your curve on your surface and then obviously don't forget to join everything like this and here we go <laughs> 